In this video, we want to have a discussion about how the correct speed and momentum will help you maintain your balance as you advance through the terrain. So the key here is to be slow and in control. I see a lot of riders who are going way too fast and out of control, and we, we want to be slow and in control, but you can go too slow. One out analogy that I like to use is that of a bicycle rider, perhaps someone who's learning to ride a bike. Initially, they're going too slow and the bike's really wobbly and that individual maybe tips over, but um, as soon as they learn how to go just a little bit faster, suddenly everything smooths out and the bicycle is a lot easier to balance. Same thing with a snowmobile. When you're uh, at your balance point and on your edge and ready to carve, if you're going too slow, it's gonna be hard to maintain that balance. But when you get going just a little bit faster, it just makes it so much easier, it's smoother. Uh, the sled responds quicker to your steering inputs to maintain your balance. We all like to ride in the super deep snow and the mountain terrain, and you'll find yourself stuck if you don't carry enough momentum. It's really important to not only maintain balance, but to maintain the momentum to carry you through those places. Precise throttle and brake control gives me the ability to help my balance. I never like to roll completely out of the throttle because then I lose clutch belt engagement. and. There's a critical moment where if I feel the balance going away from me, I need to quickly accelerate. If I'm waiting momentarily for the clutch to grab the belt, I've lost the, the moment where it's easy. If I keep the clutch engaged in the belt by keeping a little bit of pressure on the throw flipper, it helps me to manage that. I can still slow down by using the brake or tapping the brake, so I can easily manage track speed by always driving it with the throttle, but controlling the speed with the brake. 